what's bracken with y'all man it's woke new whiskey man i'm one of the realest ones out here you feel me i appreciate all my subs man i made it to 1k hey shout out to all the support you know what i'm saying but look i woke up this morning you know what i'm saying we got orlando brown supposedly he got locked up you know what i mean so i did my little research i couldn't find a video of him getting locked up but i found this video of him exposing the panda eyes agenda for a lot of y'all that don't know what that is, y'all going to have to watch this video. But besides that, look, in this video, he explains why he can say what he can say. Haven't y'all been wondering that? We about to get straight to it. He going to expose all that. You feel me? <laughs> is y'all ready? Let's get it. You mentioned this panda eyes. So this is like a society of celebrities that mess with well, yeah, it's a, it's a society of the big time celebrities that that mess with um, the main person that's uh, uh, one of the leaders uh, who actually did this to my uh, is, um, in life. I, you know, I, I, I do realize that I have made the decision to not do certain things, which means that I've had to eat certain things. I've had to endure certain things that would. You heard that, right? <laughs> Ah, uh, this dude said he had to eat certain things to say what he want to say. Let's keep going. Things that would allow me to be able to say certain things like this uh, and, and not be able to be able to, you know, be comfortable about not sleeping at night. But but um, I, I, I am a, a, in a comfortable position and, and um, I can tell you that the panda eye thing is definitely something that needs to be rectified. Yeah, it showed us. After this video, it's going to get some attention. And then just imagine what this dude had to eat. Uh, what does this dude eat? I bet you he'll eat anything just to talk. You feel me? Just so he can get away with saying anything he want to say and sleep good. <laughs> Let's keep going, man. What about Scientology, you know, uh, uh, and, 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 and what about theor theology and, and, and what about art and, and, and all that stuff? What about Van Gogh and, and, and Picasso? And, you know, what about that kind of stuff? You know, that's what we need to get back into our world. Bro, we about to lose our world. My father is getting mad and he's about to piss everybody off by taking us all out. <laughs> Somebody please help me. <laughs> They'll make anything up, y'all. <laughs> ah, man. See, that's how you know that people like this is living in their own head, in their own imagination in the Twilight Zone. He just said it, that people need to get back to reality. You feel me? Ah, this dude is too funny, though, man. Hey, I don't know what God he's talking about. That's going to take him out, his father. But, hey, let's keep going. How hard is it to stay normal in Hollywood? Uh, it's not hard at all. You just can't, you, you don't feed into yourself. I don't watch myself. <laughs> I don't, I don't like to watch myself. I don't like to, I don't, I don't dibble in that. When you become a fan of yourself, you become a fan of everybody, everybody's words that they're telling you. And it builds you up to be something that you're not in your head. You heard that, right? Y'all heard that, right? It builds you up to be something you're not in your head. Don't that remind y'all about a lot of these YouTubers? The way they be praising these dudes and agreeing with them. You know what I'm saying? And acting like they really rocking with them and supporting people like that. It gets all in their head. You feel me? But it's not real. It's cap. It's fake. <laughs> now look, he said all this, right? And then he decided to expose Cam Capone. Y'all gonna have to hear this right quick before I end this video, man. But watch this. Yo, Cam Capone. I woke up out my sleep to tell you this, bro. Number one, you're Raven. Number two, you're Pastor Ray. Hold on, he just said he's Raven and he's Pastor Ray. How is he these two people? He mean personality-wise or what? Like, y'all tell me. Let's go. I mean, that's the last interview that I'm ever doing with us, nigga. Like, you're a very ungrateful nigga. Like... I don't have to be doing these interviews for you at all, my nigga. I really don't. And you're really pissed off about that church where you've been raping men. 
So Cam Capone, suck a <laughs> Any time you feel happy is as a fat, sloppy Mexican man. You know what I'm saying? Because don't nobody fuck with you as Raven Simone. Your life is a fucking dream, bro. You live in a box. <laughs> Ah, hey, Cam Capone, man. Hey, you know why he's saying this, right? Because he ate something. Remember? In order to talk, you have to eat something, right? That's what he said. <laughs> hey, y'all let me know how you feel, man. It's a banger. And I'm gone.